It's all very well to write reviews and carry umbrellas and keep dry shoes and say what everyone's saying here and wear what everyone else must wear, but tonight I'm sick of the whole affair. I want free life. I want fresh air. And I sigh for the canter after the cattle, the crack of the whips like shots in battle, the melee of hooves and horns and heads that wars and wrangles and scatters and spreads green beneath, blue above, and dash, and danger, and life, and love, and Alaska. Alaska used to ride on a mouse gray Mustang close to my side in blue serape and bright belled spur. I laughed with joy as I looked at her little Nushi of books or creeds, and Ave Maria sufficed her needs. Little she cared, save to be at my side, to ride with me and ever to ride from San Saba's shore to Lavaca's tide. She was as bold as the billows that beat, she was as wild as the breezes that blow. From her little head to her little feet, she was swayed in her suppleness to and fro by each gust of passion. A sapling pine that grows on the edge of a Kansas bluff and wars with wind when weather is rough is like this Alaska, this love of mine. She would hunger that I might eat, would take the bitter, leave me the sweet. But once, when I made her jealous for fun at something I'd whispered or looked or done one Sunday in San Antonio to a glorious girl at the Alamo, she drew from her garter a little dagger and sting of a wasp, it made me stagger. An inch to the left, an inch to the right, I shouldn't be maundering here tonight, but she sobbed and sobbing so quickly bound her torn rebosa about the wound I swiftly forgave her. Scratches don't count in Texas <laughs> down by the Rio Grande. Her eye was brown, a deep, deep brown. Her hair was darker than her eye and something in her smile and frown curved crimson lip and instep high showed that there ran in each blue vein mixed with a milder Aztec strain the vigorous vintage of old Spain. She was alive in every limb with feeling to the fingertips and when the sun is like a fire and sky one shimmering soft sapphire one does not drink in little sips. So why did I leave the fresh and free that suited her and suited me? Listen a while and you will see. But one thing to be sure on earth and in air, God and God's laws are everywhere. And Nemesis comes with a foot as fleet on the Texas Trail as on Regent Street. The air was heavy, the night was hot, I sat by her side and forgot. Forgot, forgot the herd that were taking their rest, forgot that the air was close oppressed, that the Texas norther comes sudden and soon in the dead of night or blaze of noon and once let a herd at its breath take fright, nothing on earth can stop their flight. And woe to the rider and woe to the steed that falls in front of that mad stampede. Was that thunder? No. By the Lord, I sprang to my saddle without a word, one foot on mine and she swung behind, away on a hot chase down the wind, and never was fox hunt half so hard, and never was steed so little spared, for we rode for our lives. You shall hear how we fared in Texas, down by the Rio Grande. The Mustang flew and we urged him on. There was one chance left and you have but one. 
halt, jump to the ground, shoot your horse, crouch under his carcass and take your chance. And if the steers in their frantic course don't batter you both to pieces at once, you may thank your star. If not, goodbye to the quickening kiss and the long drawn sigh in the open air and the open sky in Texas down by the Rio Grande. The cattle gained on us, and just as I felt for my old six-shooter behind in my belt, down came the Mustang, and down came we, clinging together. And what was the rest? A body that spread itself on my breast, two arms that shielded my dizzy head, two lips that hard on my lips were pressed, then came thunder in our ears as over us surged the sea of steers. Blows that beat blood into my eyes, and when at last I could arise, Alaska was dead. I gouged out a grave a few feet deep, and there in the earth's arms I laid her to sleep, and there she is lying, and no one knows. The summer shines, the winter snows, and the flowers for many a day have spread a pall of petals over her head. The little gray hawk hangs aloft in the air and a sly coyote trots here and there. The black snake glides and glitters and slides into the rift of a cottonwood tree and the buzzard sails on and comes and is gone, stately and still, like a ship at sea. And I wonder why I do not care for things that are like things that were. Does half my heart lie buried there in Texas? down by the Rio Grande. Frank Dupre.